that's for second spot. Well, he is there. Jet led 37 laps previously, and because we've had so many leaders, he has now claimed the five bonus points for leading the most laps. The second highest number of laps led by both Mark Martin and Ricky Rudd, who were in front for 14 circuits. from John Andretti, he'll get the job done. And there's a leader not that far in front of Jeff Gordon. And he's got a lot of time to go, 17 laps to go. Well, Gordon left early in the race, and then in the middle part, was back, oh, between 6th and 20th, and now all of a sudden he's back up to second spot. But about 1.3 seconds behind the leader, Bobby Hamilton. Gordon shaved the interval on Hamilton from 2.7 to 1.8 on from laps 90 to 94. Look at that 73.6. Very, very good lap by Jeff Gordon. Well, there's still a lot of racing to go. We've got 16. Benny Parsons, John Curtin, Bill Weber, and Dr. Jerry Punch all with you back at Sears Point as we near the closing stages of this Save Mark Reagan 350 at Sears Point. And Jeff Gordon closed in seven tenths of a second. Yep. That last lap. He sure did. The Hamilton's last lap was 93.854. Gordon ran a 94.7 to mark the top six. Still got a few car lengths to make up. He's now in the last third of a second. Well, I'll tell you how far he is, folks. You can see it. It's <laughs> a matter of car lengths. Well, coming up next, racing to the Breeders' Cup, the Hollywood Gold Cup. That will be coming up immediately after our coverage of this NASCAR Winston Cup event. Racing to the Breeders' Cup. Okay, as he continues to close in on Bobby Hamilton in his last six road course races. Jeff Gordon won at Watkins Glen, had a second, two-thirds, a fourth, and a sixth. Average finish, third. Meanwhile, that number four car has had five top ten finishes in the nine previous events here at Sears Point. Four for Ernie Irvin, including a win in 92, and Sterling Marlin finished seventh in this car in 1995, or at least for this team. Racing to the Breeders' Cup, the Hollywood Gold Cup, coming up right after our coverage of this Save March Breakdown at Sears Point Raceway. We'll take a break and be right back with more action. Gotta miss the lead. Able to pass Bobby Hamilton in turn number 11, last lap. But a pit road, and now he's gonna try and limp back to pit road. And now the four to 24, and Jeff Gordon takes the lead away from Bobby Hamilton. So they swap up. Yeah, they sure did. Bobby had it for just an instant, but uh, Jeff is back around him. Originally, this is how Jeff took the advantage. 
Couple of laps ago, turn 11. Heavy braking, they make contact. We see the cars get together. We see the smoke. Jeff Gordon goes by and takes the lead. And they bump a little bit again after that. But then Gordon leads for, what, another lap before that last incident that we saw coming into turn 11. So we wonder if Bobby Hamlin will try it again when he get back to that position. Well, sure is affording us some good. I don't know, is that the left front fender rubbing, Benny? It looks to me like it's rubbing just a little bit, especially on the right handers. Next time around, he'll have seven laps to go. Putting a little bit of daylight between himself and Bobby Hamilton. Jeff Gordon, a hometown favorite. He's not too far from here in Vallejo, California. Just within a stone's throw. I thought he couldn't get on the inside of that time, but he got close. Ooh, maybe a little too close. A little bit of a hedge there. St. Mark Craig and 350. Plus 112. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Then we got. Looks like he might be the uh, 43 car, John Andretti. We're down now to 29 cars on the lead lap. So that would tie the record that was set here a number of years ago. If it there. Yes. All right, let's try this again. Into the corner. Well, we can't try it on the outside. Oh, he got the corner too hard that time. Now he knows that won't work. Yeah. Well, maybe that's the way. He thinks that maybe Jeff will protect that side the next time he goes in there. Uh, Jeff will protect that inside. But in any case, Bobby Hamilton has given this car quite a run this afternoon. Boy, has he ever. Okay, now, turn 11 come the leaders again, Ned. We'll see if Hamilton makes any move this time. Uh, a little bit too far behind that time to make a move. Bobby Hamilton is driving his car. So Jeff Gordon, but Hamilton, yeah, he's doing everything that he knows to do to keep up. Bobby's best finish here at Sears Point came in 1995. He was 14th. He was the winner earlier this year at Martinsville, of course. I'm told it was a transmission on Jeff O'Dine's car. I just want to apologize to Tex Powell in case it wasn't a transmission. Every time I see a car smoke, I say it's a transmission. <laughs> I was told it was a transmission, Tex. <laughs> Bobby Hennig. Looks like he's going to keep it going. While they get Spencer back on the track. Right there, isn't he? He sure is. Yeah. Once again, through the chute. And we see that smoke once again off that left front tire on Jeff Gordon's car. Well, Jeff has certainly not been able to pull away from Bobby. After he made that pass, Hamilton has stuck right with him. And in fact, every time they come down into turn 11, we see who's going to come out with the lead. And a half seconds over John Andrade. Andrade has over two seconds in Bobby Devine. Once again, Hamilton is able to move in a little bit coming into that corner, but Gordon will get a good traction off of there and take off. 108 jumps have now been completed as Jeff crosses the line. Let's see what happened to Jimmy. Well, now Jeff is opening up again. A little bit of daylight between himself and Hamilton. That car that he could use that trying to stay up with Jeff Gordon. While back up front, it is Jeff Gordon. He's completed another lap. Two to go. Never, never won here at Sears Point. Finished second last year. But he has nine top ten finishes so far in 1998. He's not finished worse than eight. Seven of the last eight events. Getting himself a pretty good push. Yeah, he's really opened it up now. And when he comes around, this time he'll get the white flag. 
Horse racing coming up next. Stay with us because we're very near the end of this race. Jeff threw the S's once again in turn 10. Here's corner number 11. No threat from Hamilton this time. Jeff moves the car out onto the straightaway. He looks at the white flag, indicating one more lap to go on this 1.95 mile course. There's the white flag waving. It's a 3.1 second advantage for Jeff Gordon here on the last lap. Dale Jarrett led fast. The concentration right now has to be on Jeff Gordon, who is close to another victory. Top 10. Jeff Gordon enters corner number 11 for the final time this afternoon. If Tim goes through that corner this time, he's got a big enough lead that he doesn't need to push it. Jeff Gordon wins his 23rd of 83 NASCAR wins in the first races. He won it from the It's his sixth top five in his 11th road course race. He also wins the Winston Leader bonus of $10,000 because Gordon will be into the race. Jeff Gordon wins at Sears Point. And we're with a very happy crew chief, Ray Evernham. Ray, you guys did a great job. He was patient, and there at the end, made his move and pulled away. He really did. You know, he, he did a great job all day. He is uh, hes a tremendous little driver. He has a lot of patience. He, he, we came out here and tested, and he picked gear ratios, and uh, he's just a great driver. And today, he did a, a great job with the transmission rear end. The guys did a great job. You know, I never thank his DuPont, Quaker State, Pepsi enough, and really want to... Uh, Say thanks to them. I'm real excited about this. This is a place we haven't won out. We got to thank God because he, he makes us, uh, he allows us to do this. But I, I'm happier when we won Daytona. <laughs> Ray Abraham heading up to Victory Lane. It's his second road course win, fourth win of 98, 33rd of his Winston Cup career. Jeff Gordon, the double yellow arrows indicate that he led the most laps. Jeff Gordon is the new leader by 40 over Jeremy Mayfield. Jeff Gordon uh, heading for victory lane. Well, that's interesting. The race winner has never gone on to win the championship. But Jeff Gordon hopes to break that in 1998. He'll take his chances. <laughs> There you see Jeremy Mayfield peeling off behind Jeff, but going to his truck while Jeff Gordon hunts for victory lane. Again, remember that horse racing will be coming up here momentarily. Just as soon as we talk to Jeff Gordon to get a few words from him, we'll be switching you to the other kind of racing. One horsepower. Yes. <laughs> Rainbow Warriors are already in victory lane as move, move. Jeff Gordon has now made his way there. <laughs> Just another day at the office for Jeff Gordon. No, not quite. <laughs> not quite. And another win. We heard earlier that he wrapped his hand uh, to prevent blisters from shifting so much. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Awesome. Happy young man right there. Yes, sir. I was talking to somebody who was watched the test out here and said, you can't believe how hard this young man worked to get nice the car head, right Charles. for a serious point. <laughs> All right, we're standing by for the McDonald's oh, on, winner again. circle right, as on, Jeff Gordon <laughs> going to take a swig of Pepsi and then climb out of the car. <laughs> Woo, that's good. <laughs> All righty. I think he's about ready. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, it's a seventh road course race for yeah! Kendrick Grayson. The most all time in NASCAR Winston Cup competition. Good job. Uh, Jeff Clark <laughs> Valley has worked a huge man. It's a high job. Oh, yeah. Rainbow Warriors, Ray Everham and Company for great pit work today. And 
still high five and Jeff gonna be Let me high five you, Jerry. Okay, high five me. Okay, <laughs> great job there. What what patience today? Ray was comp Ray was complimenting you on how patient you were with the gear and the transmission, but what a run. Oh man, I gotta catch my breath. This is a big win for us. Uh you know, uh we won to Watkins Glen, they got my confidence up to be able to win on a road course and this is a brand new car, we came and tested it. You know, there was times when we were really good today and we were out front, <coughs> and then there was times when I didn't know what was going to happen. We, you know, had some funky things happen today with cautions and, and uh, pit stops, and uh, I just got to thank the Lord. I tell you, blessing me and this entire team so much with, with so many great things that I, I just don't know when it's all going to stop, but uh, I want to thank them every chance I get. And I want to thank DuPont Automotive Fishes uh, and the Chevrolet and Quaker State and Pepsi and Man, what an incredible day, incredible uh, team. These guys are awesome, these Rainbow Warriors. Hey, you and Bobby Hamilton mixed it up a little bit with about 10 to go there. You uh, you guys were having a break war going down in turn 11. There was no war. He could outbreak about anybody. It's just whether or not he can make the turn. <laughs> I tell you what, Bobby Hamilton's a new road racer out there. I tell you what, he did a great job. Uh, I never dreamed uh, he was going to be that tough. And he, he was good in the areas that I was good. It was really hard to get by him. And... You know, I was surprised when I did outbreak him, and you know, and then he crowded me down. We touched, we rubbed, man. There was a lot of fun racing going on out there, and I really didn't know what was going to happen because he drove back by me, and he was staying with me, and then I tried to get some space between us, and then try to just calm down and be smooth. Well, Jeff Gordon wins the 10th annual Save Mark Craken 350 and takes the Winston Cup point lead as Bill Weber is standing by with our second place finisher. And a great, great run for Bobby Hamilton. Tell us about that battle with Gordon down the stretch, Bobby. That was pretty cool. Wasn't it? it sure was. Fun to watch. How yeah, about the drive? I, I, it, it was, you know, I was, I, I run my tires, I run my tires plumb in the ground, you know, and I knew I had to. I said, I seen a 43 back there, and I knew I had him at a lot of corners on the racetrack, and I knew I had everybody in the S's, but he was a little better in a couple more corners, and I seen him come, and I said, well, he's going to have to work to get here. And then when he got by me, I said, he's going to have to work to get by me. I didn't give him anything. We got together a couple of times, but that's what's great about racing, Jeff. You know, he knows what hard racing's about. You don't have to worry about any retaliation when it's just an accident. So I had a blast. C400 coming up on Thursday night on ESPN2. It's at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Yes, qualifying under the lights in preparation for the Pepsi 400, which for the first time will be run at night. In just 60 seconds, we have horse racing coming up for you. Racing to the Breeders' Cup featuring the Hollywood Gold Cup. That coming up in just a few moments. Well, we thank the Pennzoil Copter Cam for its beautiful shots from overhead of Sears Point today. Jeff Gordon wins. Not only does he win the Winston bonus, he gets the 76 challenge. Also, another 38 grand BP. I tell you what, Jeff Gordon, as I said just a moment ago, people who were here watching that test said they could not believe how hard he and all his team worked to get that car right for this race when they were here about a month ago testing. Seventh career win from the pole position, Jeff Gordon's, and it's Chevy's seventh win of 1998, tying them with Ford for the most victories. Thanks for joining us here today. For Ned Jarrett, Benny Parsons, John Kernan, Bill Weber, and Dr. Jerry Punch, I'm Bob Jenkins. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.